okay on training number 47 with fire and stringers uh, nice melody on a minor mm -hmm. so on the right hand side you see a minor uh, on here I have a minor you see the a b c right here a b c d see if you play open position it's kind of easy it's like a the first bar right first two bars so if you play the scale a b c d e f g so a you have no choice you have to use the third finger slide down if you slide down here actually you're on the third position see you are starting by the g a this area g a d e so this is called the third position because your index finger is locked on the third fret so basic i'll switch this melody between the open position to the third the second and third is easier so i can play the scale on open position that you hear the a b c d e f g you have no choice you have to go here to get the octave higher if you come back you go this you see in that finger pull back so a g e so i'm switching the open position to the third third position and come back to the open if you play some lower octave the lower one a g f e d c b a so i'm staying on the a note right here that's the a note from this a to this a there's no choice if you really want to play low that's maybe easier for for beginner or someone don't know this area a lot so i will stay on the low position if you want to play low but this song if you look 47 there's no lower notes everything's above the middle a right here this one a, and maybe we play a c d this way so first plan the first line you can see here we have a here to a a e i'm using this e here a a i'm adding a slide so that's a slide i'm using between these two this e note you get the d note the d i'm using this note Slide down to the E note. A, you start by A and you go to E. So A, A. And D, E, D, C. I'm using this C note right here. Set up, please. I'm just go D, E, D, C. And come back to this A. So it sounds like D, E, D, C. I'm using my index finger for the A. Look, my index finger is on second fret. That's why I say the song is best between the second and third finger. You switch around. Okay, follow me. Let's play the A by index finger. Now, when you slide up, are you sliding with your first finger or your pinky? So, third finger. It's so a ring finger. A, A, E, E, two, three. Four, one, D, E, D, C, A. Pretty simple, try it. D is on the index finger now. Right, this is the third position. Now, index finger on. D, yes, start by D. Right, you got it. Okay, now we are ending here. You had to count how many B's. So, uh, this is a three beats here plus one five beats for total. So don't count five. You count one two three four plus one two. Okay. Yes. Now this is a third beat start and the fourth beat. C D C E here. C. Next one we're going to use this one. C E D. I'm going to use my second finger slide down. C E D. So C E already marked here. You see the C E? Yes. C and E. Your middle finger or first finger? I'm using my second slide down, third finger here. Yeah, and then third finger on the next one, E. Sliding, you start one fret above? Yes, sliding. Yes, if I'm B to C. I can write down the fingering for here. This uh, I was using second finger to third. There's a little slide, S A L called slide. I was using the B note. Right. The B slide to here, and this one is by index finger, first finger. Right? You got it? Right. Next one, you have to jump A, C, D, E. You are busy here. Jump back here. A, two, three, four, one. A, C, D, E. So 
So the finger is here A by index finger again. A, C by third, index finger, and this is the third. So you are switching position. So A, C, D, E. You can use a pinky. Right. Adding some more battle because the E is pretty long, five beats. So A, C, D. Yeah, just slightly push the string against the fret like this. Yeah. Push on the fret. Right. Yeah, it could be slow or fast, depends, you know, which one you like better, yeah. Yeah, next one, jump back to the in the A, A. So I was in the finger for the A, right here, the A note. The A is right here, so that's the A. Next one, A, A, this one will slide down. I will adding a D note right here. Very small, very short notes. Slide down as L, go slide. The third finger, yeah, third finger, yeah, so it's all by third. A, A, third finger. Adding more battle when you reach the end on the note, yes. Right. Okay, next one, we can keep going. This one you not played, so start by second beat, right? D, yeah, in that finger, D. So start by index finger here, one, third, the first, and this is by one. Oh no, so it's the third. So it sounds like this. Three, one, try. Uh, I did this one, this is a, a D note. But make the D very short. Slight. Right. Like a grease note, like a ghost note. Yes. Next one. Right. This is the number one. One. This is the number three. And next is number one. So the fingers. One. Three. More battle. Yes. And Next one, I'm using the third finger bending this one. I'm using a little bending called QC bending. You can uh, make a slight bending, make it a little bit tasty. It's not a, like a blues, but it sounds like a blues bending like this. This is not a blues song, right? Why I show this position? Because later, this position is very common to be using for blues. It's a pentatonic skill. change the rhythm to blues and this just complete change actually sounds like a minor we are playing a minor right like a pentatonic scale right here but a minor doesn't work too good if you try to play a lot of open string just totally beginning like this but if you use to this position why you third because this one the small finger doesn't follow me for bending i like this one little bending quarter quarter step don't make it sound like C sharp it's a C natural just a little so that's why I call the QC QC bending this way QC mean quarter quarter step change think about this uh, half step there's one more fret in between these two it, it's not exist that's why you cannot play that note you have to bend it yeah okay next one the number three uh let me show you this one the C a, I was using the small finger for here. Yeah, the third finger bending, first finger, small finger, and the G. The G note is right here. I'm using this G note. And come back to A. Yeah. C, A, G, ending on this A note. Right. You can add in more battle if you can. Yeah. 
for this song, it's A minor, doesn't matter, but you can use the same licks, pentatonic scale in blues. It sounds very tasty if you can add in the C. That's why I'm used to the third finger, not the small finger. I quite often do adding this one. Even this song, you still can play them even on A minor and D minor. Uh, I play the chord for you. For example, A minor, one, two, three, go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Okay, let's stay here. If I play them, sounds like this. One. idea for that you see every time I see use a C note I will take care of maybe a little bending on the C because C is a flat third counting from A root flat third four five flat seven one all right there's a number it's a format for pentatonic skill yeah it's a good training if I change this idea the same thing playing the blues how about we play one two three go one If I play the same melody in this system, the same melody, one, two, three. same note it's the exact same thing in this area this is called a pentatonic if I play the full scale one, that's all the note I play but I adding slide bending vibrato that's all I need so very simple technique you can make the melody very tasty sounds like a blues because I'm changing the chord to a7 to d7 d9 I'm not using A minor anymore, or D minor. You see the background music change, almost the same rhythm, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can hear the total change. Okay, let's back to this one now. We still have some time. Uh, we can work on from here, this part, right? This part sounds like E. I will go here, sounds slide down. I'll start by hitting A, so you can see how that goes. The A is here, in that finger, right? Next one. G, E, G, A, 2, 3, 4, 1, G, A, G. So I write down the finger, it's pretty simple. Uh, this one is by index finger. Oh, I better change to a blue color. This is by third finger, sir. I was using a D note here to slide down. Yeah, this sounds like this. Right. This is my in index finger and this is third. Right. Next one is the one, first finger. Right. Very easy, right? Okay. Next one, you're still adding a D note right here. This one I like to. Uh, this book's kind of so small here, so. Adding a D, a short D right here. Slide down like a D. Next one. Yeah. Three, three, one, three. Yeah, one, three. 
one, three, like this. Yes, this in that finger. One, one, C. Make a little bending if you can. Yeah, so A. I think second finger is better, not the third, if you really want to make it quick. Second finger. Yes. This is by second finger, this is by third. Yeah, like this. Second finger, jump. Because you want bending uh, and quickly jump, maybe this one is better. Um, or you can use a third small finger for the E. This one, use the first finger. Yeah, you see you can start bending this one slightly. Right, next one is one, one, three, one. Yeah, so A, A. You can add a slight. Yes, this is a little D before that. One finger with the D? Right, slight. Third. Yeah. Right, slight, it's very fast. Like that, like. It doesn't mean no, there's something before that, like a tail, like quickly jump. Yeah, but you're going to A, so you're going back to second position. Right, second. it sounds like... I like this G, it sounds better in the open G, so though. Yeah, so, so you're really moving like third position, back to, to second, second, back right. to third. Yeah, as I said, beginning the lesson, we will switch from second and third. Because this one, uh, it's a little weird, because you have to keep using the third finger for bending some note. That's the C note. Yeah, small finger, this key doesn't work. It looks like you can use everything on second position to make it work. But how about bending? The small finger doesn't work too good. That's why I have to switch to third. For, special for the C note. You want bending this on slide and make it more tasty. Even this is not a blue song, you still can do the same. Make it more interesting on the melody song. Yeah. Okay, is there any questions? That's good. Okay, I can play the whole song with a rhythm section. Uh, maybe I should use a rhythm track. How fast you want me to play this? A little bit faster or slowly? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's about 110, like this speed. I use 112, it sounds like this. Okay, one, two, three, go. One.
rhythm section, you just make one, two, three, four, one. And we're using the index, very soft. Don't be nervous. If you're nervous, it's very loud. Now, not working together with this kind of uh, emotion. So one, two, three, four, one. On the C chord, do the same, C and G. So you play harder, but on the four end, you have to make it relax. Don't make it too loud because it doesn't matter. You are muting for the rhythm, right? And after that, try to match the volume. Yeah, it's palm muting though, right? Only the, the only this way. The bass is not one, two, three, four. The bass is no muting, just play it loud. You have this too much. Make it more not a rock and roll sound it's more like a folk sound style so make it lighter sound yours sounds like too heavy for this red one you can use this D minor if you want oh this one's easier find the easy way or this way is a bar chord like this your balance is not too good you just work on the one two three four one make it lighter because this is a balance bass is the heaviest maybe next time I have a next student waiting I guess online uh, we'll work on the rhythm next time yeah but this is a good one we try to move around to Panatone it's a very simple skill Make it tasty, yeah. Try to lighting sliding. Uh, it's very similar to blues. Later, if you add like blues, we can use the same thing, same skill setting on there. Yes. All right. Hey, thank you, John. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.